Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate auto-reply on Twitter using Socinator. When you receive new messages, Socinator will reply for you. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your account and hit Go to Tools. It will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Twitter through Socinator. Let's go to the Auto Reply tab because we want Socinator to reply to messages. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to reply to a number of messages within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for Auto Reply activity. The first one is Message Filter. Check this box if you want to reply to messages that contains specific words. So there's an instruction here that says we should separate the words using comma. For example, let's say hi, comma, hey, comma, hello. So when you receive messages that contain these words, then Socinator will target and reply to them. You make clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Choose the right file, for example, auto reply, and click open. And it's successfully uploaded. Hi, hey, hello. When you're ready, click save. The next configuration category is manage messages, where you can create and manage the message that you will send. If you hover on spin tags over here, you can see the format. So as you can see, each message is separated by this symbol. In the message text area, we can type the message that we want to send. For example, Hi, how are you? And you can separate each message with a symbol, this one. Say, hey, how's it going? You can separate it again and type another message, hello there. You can type several messages and separate each of them with this symbol. Like earlier, you can clear using the clear all button over here, and you can also import from CSV or text file by clicking this button. Now, if you check spin tags, it will randomly select one of these messages over here. So it could either send hi, how are you? Or hey, how's it going? Or hello there. You can also attach a photo by clicking the photo button and select the right file that you want to send and it will attach the picture and send it. For queries, you can select which message filter to target. Will you reply to the hi message, to the hey message, or to the hello message? You may also select more than one, so let's reply to messages with hi or hey. When you're ready, click add message to list and it will be added to our messages list over here and the action button over here will allow you to edit or delete the message. The next category is job configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should reply to messages. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use like slow with an average daily activities of 17, medium with 37, fast with 65, or super fast with 85. Super fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each Twitter message is replied to. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after replying to the number of messages you set in the number of messages per job. Number of messages per job will allow you to specify the number of Twitter users you want to reply to per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of users to reply to per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box if you want to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another specific number of max message per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep replying to messages even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. 
You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example. Provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. And then click Add Interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. and click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite and let's call it Twitter Auto Reply and then click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Twitter Auto Reply. The last tool is User Filters. This allows us to filter the users we want to reply to on Twitter. For example, the user should speak English, so user has only English characters in bio or username. Next, you can specify the minimum number of tweets of the user. You can also specify the followers and the followings of the user. Speaking of followers and followings, the next one is follow ratio, which is ratio of followers and followings. You can input a follow ratio greater than or smaller than a specific number. You can also specify the minimum number of characters in the user bio. Speaking of user bio, you can specify words that should not be in the bio, username, or name. So type the words in this area. Let's say you don't want to message people who are into politics, government, or president, for example. Separate each words by a comma. You may delete by clicking the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file and select the right file must not have, for example, and click open. And it's successfully added. When you're ready, click save. The next one is the opposite of the previous one. So words that should be in the user bio, username, or name. So let's say you want to message people who are into pets, cats, or dogs. Then simply type in this area. You may clear using the clear all button. You may also import from CSV or text file using this button. When you're done, click save. You can also specify how active the user is. So user tweeted within the last, let's say, one day. Next, this user is not following this account. So you will not reply to your followers. User has profile image. If you want to reply to Twitter users with a profile picture, you can also skip private users, muted users, and filter user based on verification. So you can skip verified user or those who are not verified. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start replying to messages, let's scroll up and hit save. Success. And after that, click the status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating auto reply on Twitter using Associator. This one allows us to create campaigns, which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop down button and select Twitter. This will take us to the accounts tab. Let's go to messenger tab and select auto reply on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Twitter auto reply to new message. On the message filter, let's reply to messages that contain specific words hi, hey, hello. So let's import and click open. Click save. For message text, we can say, hi, how are you? And select everything. So if you receive new messages with hi or hey or hello, then this will be your reply to them. Hi, how are you? Click add message to list. And if you check below, it's added in the messages list. For job configuration, an average daily activities of 17 should be okay, so let's select slow. For user filters, let's target English speaking users and has profile image. We can also skip private users and muted users. Other configurations, it's up to you. You may also skip blacklisted users. So blacklisted users are the users that you don't want Socinator to interact with. So it can be either a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific user, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. 
When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, we can select multiple Twitter accounts. Since we only have one account right now, let's go with that by checking the box and click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. Since we already have configuration settings for this activity, saving these new campaign settings will override the previous ones. If you want to proceed, check the box of the account and click save. This will automatically bring us to the campaigns tab where we can see that we have successfully created our Twitter auto reply to new message campaign. Click the status button to pause the campaign and the action button over here will allow you to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.